Okay, we're here in Grand Isle, Louisiana, and one of the ways in which we resource after a disaster is by engaging. Engaging! Mm. It's the E in scope! Yes, and when you engage through conversation, through eye gaze, through touch, it is it it really uh, discharges the stress in, in the body from uh, the activation of the disaster. We start to feel calmer and and more. Uh, we start to feel like we're not alone. Yeah, that's the main. Thing. You know, you know what I just noticed about the E, the engage in scope is like here we all are. All these disaster volunteers are kind of wandering around as we came and saw this pretty devastated house and all the other ones in the community. And it's like, immediately the disorientation of the space is here. But when I could see you and I'm like, hey, let's talk to people about the E and engage in scope. Yeah. We come together again, we get in dialogue. We don't even know how, we make yeah. up some little reason, but you come back together, you engage, and it's like, I'm part yeah. of something with someone. So yeah. this is for the E in scope. And we Find someone to share yes. your resources with. Whatever you have, just share them. And, and if you know someone who's alone, reach out and talk yes. to them. We were just at a FEMA park and uh, a trailer park and this gentleman said there's a lot of people here who are alone, who don't have anybody to talk to. And so don't let anybody be alone. Talk to each other. And be together. It, yeah, and, and you know, we all feel alone sometimes too. And so engaging out heals so many others and it heals yourself. Yes. Yeah. Reach out, reach out and reach give out and a touch hug. someone. Oh, here's someone. the 